Uh, welcome back to the channel and an unboxing of the Fluke 9062 UK motor and phase rotation indicator. Now this item in the UK sells for retail price around about £220. Um, you can usually pick it up quite a bit cheaper than that. So, uh, but we'll have a look to see what we get for the money. So first off, we've got the manual for it, which is likely to be in numerous languages, I would imagine. And this is a relatively simple device, so you'd hope there shouldn't be too many instructions. We've got brochure, uh, registration card, and calibration practices. Okay, so three leads, pretty uh, robust leads, both identified at the end with numerous configurations. So you have an L3, a W, a C, like this, which should be L1, U or an A, and L2, V and B, depending on how you do your motor configurations. Now we've got three quad clips. All black and three probes. Three probes. One. Spring loaded shroud, and you've got a four millimeter adapter on the end there as well. Um, and these are, ooh, are they fused. Yeah, it looks like they're fused. Fused with a 500 milliamp fast acting fuse. Very nice. And then, of course, we have the unit itself. So there you have it. And the unit actually comes with batteries installed. So if I hit the on button, you'll see it already lights up. So batteries are pre installed in that. Uh, it's like a single screw and it takes a nine volter. Now what you will probably see is that there is no case with this fluke unit, which is a bit remiss because this isn't gonna be sitting on a bench somewhere. This is gonna be taken out and used out on site. So that's the whole purpose of it, but no case arrives with it. There is a case that Fluke recommend. It's the C25 case and that retails for around about 50 pounds in the UK. So going on book prices, that'll be around about 275 pounds you would need to get case and the instrument, which is quite a hefty sum indeed. So I've purchased this device to test it against the MTR105 from Mega, where I had issues with utilizing it against an inverter supply, because on the MTR105, stick the lights back on. And you can see there, I've got a three phase voltage mode, which will be these three lights up here and it gives phase rotation as well. It should be these two lights down here when it's powered up. And then if we swing around to here, we have a motor function on here, which you need to energize the meter with. And again, then you will use these two lights, whereas with MTR105, it's just the arrows there to show the direction. So I wanna see how well this operates against an inverter. Besides this one here, I have this uh, El Cheapo unit, uh, which does come in a case. and. We'll set you back the princely sum of around about £35 in the UK. Um, I tried pitching this against the MTR105 and this gives me silly readings as well in exactly the same way as the MTR105 does. So uh, I was just curious to see if a top of range instrument would actually work with this little inverter I've got. Okay, so that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little unboxing and I'll see you in the next video when I use the Fluke 9062UK on an actual motor and inverter and see how it functions.